Then again, we added 2022, the 5th of January. <laughs> House of Faith, season one, episode one. We bang. Genres in music like hip hop, maskani, and the revolutionary South African genre like I'm a piano. We're taking all of them on the show. But before we go any further, we'd like to give a quick shout out to the off season entertainment, the little gang gang. This time in collaboration with Juice Records. A moment of silence, please. So, on me, it's your boy, Space Boy, and them axes. Yo, better not be playing with it. You gotta put them axes on, man. On the house of fame, the guy who's presenting on the show acts like he's putting X's on. <laughs> <laughs> Before we look on social media, we told Joe we was dropping this. This is the time, this is the moment, and this going on, man. The new GDTV trap show. We're doing it today, man. So before we go any further, a quick intro on the talent and the artists that we have on the show. This guy is what timelessly and timelessly to drop so much MP3s. He's got so much drip, he don't even know what to do with it. So, my <laughs> so today I woke up in the morning and I was trying to connect my electric and this just wasn't going on man so I knew something was going to happen today to me. So especially based on the fundamentals and right basics of the show we are joined by a very special guest today in the show. Plug Roman 9. Straight up, straight up, straight up man. It's so love baby. It's good to be here man. Factual man, that's fact. So moving from local to international music, singer, songwriter and rapper of Plug 9 is here on the show. Straight up. To give us just a few intel about how he's been doing this mm -hmm. in the game. You see he's got bath down, going and going down. <laughs> Make it looking <laughs> fresh and <laughs> <in> then <the night. laughs> That's factual fresh man. In a whale. Yeah, it's no, facts. No <laughs> so we just got a few improvised questions for you. We, uh, as a whole, including the House of Pain, yes, would like to know how you be got to become Plug 9, Roman Figure 9. Hey man, looking back at it, hey man, there, <coughs> there was a time way back, I remember like it was like four, three, four years back, you know, because already I was Mike Brown, the Plug, okay. before like Plug 9, you get what I'm saying? So like, I feel like the last part was actually more drop because there was a certain point in my career where I felt like I had to switch like the type of music that I was doing, like I had to change it. So at that time that I changed like the type of music that I was doing, because again you say like I changed the genre was still hip hop. Okay, it was just a sub genre that I changed. Okay? okay. So after I did that, you know, I had to switch like from my from the club to club now. Yeah, I feel like for every artist man there's like uh a time, a certain point of like growth where you feel like, mm -hmm. you know, there is a time when you like, okay, you you're an artist, you're doing your thing, right? Then there is there comes a time when you feel like maybe this is not what I really want. Okay. Like you find yourself again. Already you find yourself as an artist. Because already being an artist takes you know, you gotta find yourself. You can't just wake up and just say like ah, you know, I'm an artist right now. So it's the second phase of finding yourself. Okay. Yeah. So already I was Mike Brown the plug. Then at the certain point where I had to like switch from a sub general to another sub general. I, I feel like, you know, Mike Brown, the plug was just maybe a bit too long and a bit too cliche. So <laughs> I had to switch it up. So I took like the last part, plug, because already I'm the plug, man. They need something, the fans, they need something, they gotta hit me up. You get what I'm saying? Yo, I'm the plug already. So the, the number nine, for me, it was already like a number. Among other numbers, if I put that number among other numbers, I'm gonna score the lottery, man. Who knows, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna just be a millionaire overnight. You get what I'm saying? So yes. plug nine. So the nine. This needs to be a regular night. Okay, we know it comes out in Roman. Exactly. It comes in mm -hmm. Roman numerals, bro. Okay. No, numbers of the Egyptians, bro. You get what I'm saying? Because, you <laughs> know, I'm, I'm a son of the African soil. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we're Egyptian God, man. So, the Roman numerals, it comes from up there in Egypt. Because I'm so inspired by how, you know, they were doing that thing, their thing, bro. You get what I'm saying? So, okay, so, we really found out how you as a whole just get to find your name and that's really inspirational i mean yes, yes, yes. people just take names from somewhere else and they don't even know what they mean like i said before <laughs> uh, it's basically <laughs> yeah, it's real. so would also like to know how um how can we put this and i also pay these open 
any questions are basically decided by the show. Mm-hmm. We'd like to know how you find inspiration in your music. Like who inspires you in your music, basically? Hey man, I don't know. I, I don't want to sound cocky on this one, bro, but I inspire myself, man. Like, yo, man, I done too so much, bro. Yeah, like, man. a whole lot, you know. Yeah. Like, even some situations that I was wanting and come to even think of it right now, like, how I even got out. It's a miracle, bro. Those are, like, miracles happening in my life, bro. Yes. So, somewhere, somehow, man, I feel like, for me, me personally, man, because I know some other people, like, that's why I said at the beginning, I don't want to sound cocky, like, okay, you, you get it, like, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, you know, for, yeah, many other artists, they, they got people who inspire them, man, you get what I'm saying, I have, maybe when you talk about motivation, I have people who motivate me, yeah, like, you, you get what I'm saying, but when it comes to inspiration, bro, that's a totally different game, man, I inspire myself, man. I inspire myself, bro. That's how it goes, man. It's really great seeing you coming from a uh, local artist to school and international, of course, mm-hmm. to really have these type of explanations. Because mm-hmm. uh, interviewing or seeing what these other guys are doing, this is a really special moment for me. Yes, sir. Talking of inspirations, we move to aspirations, sir. Mm-hmm. What is the aspiration for the future in your music career? What do you see in the future? What are you claiming to be doing in the future since you're dropping your mixtape and you know everything is going down? Hey man, it's pride, bro. It's pride, man. Brighter than the channel, brighter than this channel. Bro. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, the future, bro. Like, hey man, I've been grinding, man. I don't wanna lie, bro. Like, there's been a year. You cannot admit, man, I'm human, bro. There's been like a whole lot of setbacks. The whole lot of this yeah, that so I'm in my ABCs, man. I'm in my alphabet. You get what I'm saying? And for me, I can really say, like, because when it comes to being an artist, you know, a rapper, they say, they will say, like, you know, they think oh, I'm, I'm talking about drugs, I'm talking about guns, you know, money. Sometimes things that I do in there, but it didn't really about that. For me, that, like, that situation is different, bro. Because, like, I'm multi dimensional, man. I'm able to go. You get what I'm saying? You bring an hip hop track, so you do that. You bring an IMB, I hope on that thing as well. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm multi dimensional when it comes to this whole music. Music as a whole, I can't really say like I'm based on one part. Of course, like, yeah, we got favorites, man. Everybody got favorites, man. You know, every everything we do, man, everyone got favorites. Yes. This is my favorite shit as well, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, for me, I feel like when it comes to aspirations, it's like, I got something for everybody, man. I got something for everybody. And I know that words alone can really like pick up what I'm saying right now. So yeah, I guess they just gotta wait for the check, man. That's some of the show in the House of Pain, season one, episode one. We have some few improvised questions for the talent. These questions were not meant to be heard. You actually didn't know we had this on the show. But <laughs> you ready? Surprised, man. I'm like surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so this game open and the question game is time. You want to have five seconds for this question, mm-hmm. and if you answer it right in front of the screen for everybody to know, then they get a free info on how you're doing your stuff, man. All right, all right. It's, uh, mm-hmm. So the first question. Yeah. Who is the fastest kid in the world? <laughs> Uh, like the out of something, something. Like this kid, I don't know, man. You gotta give me at least semi points for this one. I know, I'm not really sure. The, the, I don't know, out of something. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, that kid, yeah. bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. that kid. <laughs> I always put this. Bro. What do you say? Uh, you're right. You're something related to uh, the door. Uh-huh. But then this was the five and the five second question. So moving along to the second question, yeah. sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, what category of food does an egg fall under? An egg, man? Yeah. Yo, man, it's an ancient question. It's like, asking me, like, which came first, the egg <laughs> or the chicken? Oh, yeah. But I think that's a dairy product, bro. I don't think it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, our talent has answered the two it's questions correctly. Yeah, bro. Basically, <laughs> this was a time game, but since he's a special guest, so we're going to let it slide and then we're going to let it slide in the questions, man. But I have one final question for you, sir. Mm-hmm. Which year was Lil Wayne's debut album, Cutter 5, released? Yeah, Cutter 5, man, that was in 2018, bro. I bombed, man. I bombed to Lil Wayne. I bombed to the Cutter 5. 2018. <laughs> okay. None of you folks should forget that, bro. Like, yo, man. Lil Wayne. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, that got that, that, that correctly. That's going on. Yeah, so still edited the show, The House of Pain, season one, episode one. Our rapper, the talent plug nine in Roman, don't forget, is going to give us an, a performance based on the mixtape that is dropping this January. Yo, better subscribe, yo, better link, yo, better pop that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, better listen to all that shit because mm-hmm. it's real, it's hard, man. Yeah, man. So the performance is coming right next. Why they had it? Better pick up the code. That's a push up call. Bands it, bands it. Why your niggas lazy? That's the wisdom they broke. I'm still getting more. I, 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 I just pass them by. I just see them around. They're not really my friends. Nope, we ain't got no ties. We don't compromise. Get your facts. That's a lie. Putting your life on the line. Mm. She know that I'm special. Yes. Why the insta handle? Mm. She look good. I might just swipe it. She know I'm gonna use it. Ah. So they went the option. Yes. You probably think about me. Lost money. All you say that views it. Mm. Wine for your cheese. You a man. Well, man. I'm CJ with the cheats. Sin and dress. Okay. I got chandeliers on my neck, man. Shine strat with the beef, my nigga hang man. You kill you kill. So high on them trees like a lumberjack. I'm mad on my mind. 